The school teacher, Yokosawa, is murdered in cold blood, and Yagami is torn with grief. Her death is merely collateral damage to Soma of RK. Soma's real prey is Kawana, who narrowly escapes his trap. It seems Kawana had buried his true identity among a host of other secrets. And to unearth them, Yagami crawls deeper down the rabbit hole. Yeah, that's fine. I get it. You don't want us touching anything inside the room. Is it okay to wait for you inside then? Some private investigators from Kamurocho. Yagami-san and Kaito-san. Yeah, I asked them to help us out with a case we were on a couple days ago. Yes, see you soon. They're coming. The cops are on their way. All right. She was murdered at the hands of Soma. Master. You lied when you said they had no business with her. Why did it have to be her? How did she get pulled into all this? If it's answers you want, you gotta be a detective, Talk. We can see the kind of shit that normal people miss. We'll notice what they can't. For now, can you put aside the pain and do the work you need to do? I think he's right. First, let's narrow our focus. It's not about who or how she was murdered. What's more important here is to figure out the answer to the why. Let's consider her connections. We know one of them was to Kowanda the Handyman. Where that leads, is that Soma's gang was after Kawana, and that's why they broke in. In that case, the clues that we're after here are her personal relationships. There's our lead. Something that shows how a teacher could be connected to a guy like Kawana. Yeah. Except Kawana's a fake name, just his alias. His real name was Kitakanta. Soma gave us that. Suspicious. Hmm. Suspicious. There's one visible wound here. What do you think, Kaito-san? Sure is tiny. You think she was stabbed with some kind of long needle? An ice pick, most likely. Soma was holding one up to her. Hmm. 
Aha. Hey. What the? Blood. Not a lot, though. Yeah, looks like it. Yagami-san, isn't that your book from when Sawa-sensei went to Kurokawa Academy? Wouldn't there be photos of people like Yui Mamiya and that bully Kawaii in there? Oh, yeah, you're probably right. Weird that there's so much blood around it. Maybe she was trying to leave us a clue. What do you want to do? Take a peek inside? Kind of frowned on the mess of the murder scene, yeah? If you're gonna look, make it quick. The cops will be here any minute. There's not enough time to check the whole thing. I'm gonna hang on to it for now. I'll turn it over to the police later. It's now or never. I won't get another chance to come back to this room. You are gonna take it? Really? Is that even legal? Of course not. But fuck legal this time. Those shady Kurokawa Academy graduates might be connected to Mikoshiba's murder. But we're the only ones with that lead right now. The cops could turn this place upside down and still miss that. Hmm, good point. It's better off with us then. Feel like that's what Sawa Sensei wanted. Uh... It's now or never. Sugiyura, we'll deal with the cops. You take the yearbook and get out of here. Uh, I have to play the thief? Play? Isn't that exactly what you fucking did back in Kamurocho? Why you gotta bring that up? Fine, fine, I'll do it. I see. So, Hachat, according to you, the guy who killed Sawa-sensei was... Kazuki Soma. He's the leader of a bunch of thugs in Kamrajo known as RK. Yeah? Well, great. Case closed. Then what's your take on the murder scene, Nabe-san? Tone it down, buddy. Remember who's got the badge here. 
There are footprints of several different men who have been in Sawa Sensei's room. That includes yours, by the way. We'll be analyzing these footprints first, and we'll check any security footage in the surrounding area. We'll ask around for eyewitnesses and narrow down our suspects. And we'll look into RK too, of course. Appreciate your help with that, Detective Yagami. I just saw the coroner walk in. You saw the body too, right? Yeah, just to get a rough idea. Her body will be taken in for an autopsy. Well, does your rough idea include the cause and time of death? Cause of death? A single stab from behind into the nape of the neck with a weapon similar to an ice pick. As for the time, we're estimating she's been dead for about three hours. Three hours? That means it must have been right after I saw her on my phone. Nabe-san, the police need to get a warrant for Soma. We're asking HQ about him as we speak. We need at least a damn mugshot for a warrant. Then isn't it time to hit the street and get in some thug faces? Assume any face you don't recognize is from RK. I get how you feel, man, but pull it together. Actually, I'm curious about that Kuwana fella, too. He's lived in Ijincho forever. Why were Kamrocho thugs after him? And now I hear Kuwana isn't even his real name? He and Sawa since they were connected, but how? I'm looking for those same answers myself. <sighs> so you know jack shit about anything important. But you can go on home. And just make sure we can reach you. Sure about this, Nabe-san? Yeah. Assholes like him work better on a loose leash. Foul-mouthed as fuck. But not bad, Pops. Ah. <sighs> What now? Nabe-san, aren't you gonna ask me about Ahara? You know I went to see him in prison. Oh, that. You saw the video of Ahara killing Mikoshiba, didn't you? I was coming to talk to Sawa-sensei about it. Your point? I think there may have been a link between what happened to Sawa-sensei and Mikoshiba's murder. In which case, wouldn't you want to pump Ahara for information? Why aren't you jumping on that? We got orders from the top that Ahara's off limits. Forever. They said if we want to try to peg him as Mikoshiba's killer, we'd have to completely flip the guilty verdict on his harassment case. Not exactly the kind of shit a big cop can pull off. Besides, nobody seems to want to investigate the Mikoshiba murder. Not us, not HQ, not even the prosecution. So cops get to just quit working an investigation because they don't feel like it? <laughs> If there was even a hope we could close it, every cop here would be all over it. Everyone knows Ahara stinks to high hell, and they still won't let us touch the goddamn thing. It's above our pay grade. We bury the case so deep it never sees the light of day. Yeah, feels like Sawa Sensei's case is about to get the same treatment. Hey, I told you to watch it, buddy. Save the dirty looks for your superiors. They're the bastards so desperate to sweep this under the rug. Hell do you! Cool it, Sakurai. I know this is all very sudden. We don't have many details yet. And as you've heard, the police are working to find answers as we speak. Sawa-sensei... Well, she got mixed up in some sort of incident. This may attract press to the school, and some of them may even wish to speak to you, but... Please, do your best to ignore them. Again, we don't have all of the facts, and it's not for all of you to... Well... None of you are under any obligation to speak to them, so please, don't. 
All that I can ask, for now. Spare a prayer for Sala-sensei, please, if you can. Please. Please. <laughs> okay. We better get everyone back to class. Starting with the third years. Excuse me, Yagami-san? If you don't mind, Chairman Okuda said he'd like to speak with you if you would be on campus today. It's about Sawa-sensei. Yeah, I can do that. Will he be in his office? Yes. Thank you for everything, sir. Yagami-san. Oh. Hey. I still can't believe what happened to Sawa-sensei. Yeah. I know. Do you know anything about it? I saw the scene of the crime. I was the first one to find her. What? The killer's still on the loose. But I know who it is. Is there any way I can help? Maybe you could share some details about the case. No. Not this time. This one's too dangerous. I'm not gonna get you involved. But... Just leave Sawa-sensei's case to me. Don't you have your own cases to solve? Yagami-san... <sighs> okay. Listen. You're a brilliant kid. You can't afford to let this throw you off your game, right? Yes. You're absolutely right. If I let that happen, it'll damage the MRC's credibility. Exactly. So here's what I'm thinking, Amasawa. Let's just carry on like normal. And please spread the word to the rest of the MRC. That'd help me out a bunch. Yes. I can do that.
enter. Thank you for coming. Sure. No problem. Have a seat, if you would. In that detective's report, Saba-sensei was... Well, it said you were the one who found her body. That's right. You had been concerned for Saba-sensei's safety before the incident. You're able to see things I can't. You have something of a gift for that, Yakimi-san. I wish I could agree with that. But... I'm overlooking details. I'm letting too much slip away. And quite frankly, there's still a lot that I haven't figured out yet either. Like what? May I have an example? There's this local handyman. Kawana is the name he goes by in the city. Right before it happened, I ran into him in front of Sawa Sensei's apartment. There's no way it was a coincidence. So, you think he could be the culprit? Actually, I don't think so. Not really. That said, Kawana has something to do with all this. Sawa Sensei may have gotten caught up in his mess. In fact, Kawana is just an alias he uses, and he's being hunted by these thugs from Kamrocho. They're a gang called RK, and it's weird, but they've been looking for this punk named Kawai. And Kawai's connected to it too. Sawa Sensei went to the same school as him 13 years ago. Wow, these details are flying so far over my head. Your investigation has gone well beyond what I can comprehend, and it's left me in the dust. But I just can't do this anymore. Between my own faculty and the press, I'm being bombarded. I'm afraid it's just too much for me to bear. I'm sorry to hear that. But you know what? What's been the hardest part? Is feeling so powerless as all these young people have their lives cut short. Because Shibukun being discovered dead. Ehara-san committing murder on video. And now poor Sawa-sensei's tragedy too. I can't help but feel in my heart that these incidents are related. That somewhere below the surface all these misfortunes are connected to the same root. I would have to agree. Then I suppose it's only a matter of digging down deep enough. Though I couldn't begin to imagine how much soil would have to be turned to uproot it. But one thing, Yakimi-san, if you would. Could I ask that you continue to keep digging until you get to the bottom? Can you? Sawa-sensei deserves to have her chance at justice. A wonderful teacher like her. Why? She had her whole future to look forward to, the poor woman. And now this happens. It's just not right. As it stands, I still need to collect more evidence. So you know, I can't make any promises just yet. I could hit a dead end. But... No matter what anyone does, no matter who tries to stop me, I'm gonna keep digging. You're a saint. These past few days have felt like a never-ending nightmare. What a breath of fresh air. And I appreciate the good news. Of course. I'm glad we could talk, Chairman. And now, Sawa Sensei's old class is going to be my next worry. I'm sure you're well aware that that class has some students with a pension for causing trouble. I fear that with her gone, we may need to prevent a relapse for those bullies you stopped. Are you referring to Kodasan then? Hmm. I understand. While I'm working on campus, I'll keep an eye on them.
Excuse me. Yagami-san, what do you want? You know, things have been really weird around here ever since you showed up. First, they find Mikoshiba sensei's body. Now Sawa sensei winds up getting murdered. You the angel of death or something? Is that it? I wouldn't blame you for thinking that. Everyone's so damn gloomy. It sucks. Sawa sensei was popular with all the boys. But her classes were super easy and honestly pretty boring. You won't catch me moping around crying about it like all these losers. Ha ha! <laughs> Hypocrites. You assholes were practically celebrating what happened to Mikoshiba sensei. Hey, we've heard enough out of you. Yeah? Fuck off, you little twerp! What do you want, Coda? Yagami-san... Well, we're fine. There's a lot we don't understand, so we just feel a bit vulnerable right now. But, um... Well... If you learn more about Sawa-sensei, could you... Please keep us in the loop, too. Oh, please, bitch! What's with this goody two-shoes bullshit? Fucking chill, Akane. What's your problem? Like I said before, I'm a detective, and I'm looking into Hiro Mikoshiba's murder. That's why I was talking to Sawa-sensei. It's highly likely she got wrapped up in that case. So make no mistake, I'm going to find the truth about what happened to them both. Kind of pointless. The internet's already branded Mikoshiba Sensei as the villain in all this. Everyone says he had it coming since he used to be a bully himself. Yeah, I know. Anyway, if you're interested in hearing my report, just drop me a line. Maybe seeing my work might put things into perspective for you. <laughs> Detective, my ass. Just get out of my face! So, about Akane, she was really into Mikoshiba-sensei. They got along great, chatted all the time. Then all of a sudden, he just disappeared. She thought they had a connection, but turns out it was only one way. Now, she's always so pissed off. Keeps driving herself over the edge because she can't even reach the brakes. <sighs> I'm not saying all this because I expect you to forgive us. The fact that you recognize you did some awful things is a step in the right direction, at least. I'm sorry, Coda. For everything we did to you. You can't expect her to ever forgive you. If anything, expect that she never will. <sighs> I know. That said, good job apologizing. <sighs> Thanks.
tough to hear. in the wrong way. Signal's weak. Not really picking it up. Welcome back, Doc. Good to see you, Yagamishi. How'd things go at school? The chairman told the entire student body about Sawa-sensei at an assembly. Everyone's pretty shaken up. Yeah. I can't even imagine. I gave the yearbook I took from her room yesterday to Sukumo. Why don't you check it out later, Yagami-san? Oh, I still can't wrap my head around what I saw last night. We have to avenge Sawa-sensei. Right, Tak? We've been waiting for you, Yagamishi. Let's plan our next moves. Are you ready? Yeah, let's do it. While in a meeting yesterday, Sawa-sensei received a call that her apartment was broken into, prompting her to go home. Judging from the events that followed, R.K. must have called her using the apartment manager's name. And that's how they got to Sawa-sensei. But R.K. wasn't after Sawa-sensei. They were actually after Kuwana, weren't they? Yeah. Akutsu and Soma both said so. I think Sawa-sensei was used to lure Kuwana out. Why would Sawa-sensei be bait to draw out Kuwana? How the hell are those two connected? That too, but why is R.K. even after Kuwana-san? Thugs from Kamurocho want a handyman in Ichincho? Right. There's still a lot we don't know. We need to find Kuwana before R.K. does and get some answers out of him. Kuwana isn't even his real name. Apparently it's Kitakata. R.K. didn't seem to be familiar with the name Kuwana. Truth is, we don't know anything about Kuwana. All we know is that he's a handyman in Ichincho. I haven't been able to contact Kawana-san since yesterday, but I left a message asking him to reply. Where's the office for his handyman business? He ran his whole operation from a cell phone. Not even his business card lists an address. Oh yeah, Kaito-san. Didn't you call up all the places we went drinking? Did you find out where he lives? Yep, just found out. Looks like Kawana lives in some kind of prefab shack off West Central Street. Sounds like pretty shitty conditions for a guy charging up the ass for his time. Well, if we know that much, we might as well go take a look. Heh. <laughs> I was hoping you'd say that. Tsukumo, we'll talk more later. 
You never slow down, Yagamishi. Let's hit it. Stay down. Let's roll, talk. This Kiwanis place? Yeah, I think so. Guess it's kind of fitting for an unlicensed handyman. What is it? The door's been forced open. Maybe with a crowbar or something. If anyone was in here before us, it had to have been R.K. Aside from us, they're the only ones after him. That means they're already a few steps ahead of us. Our K's got the numbers behind him. We can't beat him to the punch every time. I don't think Kawan has been back since last night. He probably caught on that he's a wanted man. He might not even be in Ijin Cho anymore. Then what do we do here? His real name's supposedly Kitakata. I want to know who he really is and why he used a fake name. That'll make his connection to Sawa-sensei clearer. So you want to find clues that point to his true identity? Is that what you're saying? <laughs> Took the words right out of my mouth, Kaito-san. Kawana mentioned his ties to the underground, but I get the feeling this kind of work was his bread and butter. Collecting junk, walking pets, fixing pipes, taking any odd job that comes his way. Not so different from us. A handyman, a detective, it's two sides of the same coin. Suspicious. Leftovers from a ramen cup. Would it have killed him to clean up a bit? I'm starting to think this place was a dump even before it got ransacked. What the? 
Cigarettes. Are these Kiwanis? I don't think so. Pretty sure he's been vaping. But maybe he craved the real deal every now and then. Yeah, people do smoke both depending on the situation. in here. Bet they had no clue what they were doing. Looks like they just wanted to trash the place. Yep, pretty much screams RK. Nothing more than a bunch of punks. What the? An ashtray. Huh. That's weird. What? With all the gross garbage in here, this ashtray is oddly empty. Think so? <laughs> what the? <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's clean and all, but so what? Could just be freshly empty. Except it hasn't been washed or even used in a while. See the layer of dust on it? Okay, and? You think a dusty ashtray is gonna get us Kuana's identity? Maybe. Or maybe it's nothing. Yo, hold up, Tog. We don't have enough on Kuwana to go after him. You sure you want to go back empty-handed? I feel like I checked everything worth looking at. Well, maybe there's more to something you looked at already. Besides, where else are we going to find dirt on Kuwana if we leave? Suspicious. Is this a computer power cable? There's a mouse here, too. There was a laptop here. RK must have taken it. There's probably a treasure trove of info on it. <sighs> and RK's got anything of value out of this place already. Come on, don't be emo. Hmm. What the? These cigarettes. There's something about them. Kiwana usually smokes e-cigarettes. The ashtray looks virtually unused. What are you getting at? I don't think Kiwana's smoking these cigarettes. Then why keep what you don't smoke? See? We gotta be more thorough. lighter. What now? Whoa. A USB memory stick disguised as a lighter. Damn. Did you just hit the jackpot or what? That has to be important if Kuwana was hiding it like this. What matters is the data on it. We'd be able to check it now if we had a computer. Then why don't we head back to Tsukumo's?
Oh, it got dark. Huh? What's the matter, Tuck? Looks like a meet and greet. Oh, yeah? <sighs> Think they're RK? Well, they're the only ones looking for Kuana other than us, right? Don't see Soma or Akutsu, though. So, except the fucking B team. Probably for the best. If Soma was here, I don't think I can stay cool. Yeah, me neither. Which one of you is gonna talk? Where are Soma and Akatsu? There's no point in talking to a dead man. Uh-huh. Well, if that's how you're gonna play it, then we're not holding back either. Where are Soma and Akatsu? I want to talk to them. We can't contact them, I swear. They're the ones who contact us. It's always been like that. Uh, figured as much. <laughs> Most of the RK crew are just chumps. Yeah. I bet even Soma is just another piece on the board, taking orders from the real mastermind. Thugs don't work gigs that don't pay. Yet they came to Eugene Show outside their turf to commit murder. That's true. Sounds like someone's funding them. It must be some generous perks. Definitely. Otherwise, Soma and the others wouldn't be causing so much chaos over here. Then, who's the one pulling RK's strings? I don't know who it is, but I know what he's trying to do. Which is? Catch Kuwana. RK's just following orders. And Sawa Sensei was probably collateral damage. Yeah, that makes sense. Shit. I swear I'm gonna drag this bastard out on his ass. If we keep looking for Kuana, we'll run into the one behind this all eventually. And this could be our first clue. Then we'd better get back to Sukumo's.
what's going on out here? Are you friends of Kuana-san's? Uh, yeah, we are. And those gentlemen on the ground? Those guys? Oh, yeah, they're just wasted. Little nap and they'll head right on home. Ah, I see. <laughs> well, that's just fine. Excuse me, but you know Kiwana, don't you? Sure. I mean, he's lived next door for the last ten years. But he's a handyman. Anytime we were short-handed, he'd come by and help us out. We'd pay him with our daily special. Oh, I haven't heard from Kiwana since last night. Do you happen to know any places he visits often? Let's see. He has an uncle that took him in when he first came to Yokohama. Called him a distant relative or something. He's an ex-Yakuza running a bar since he got out of the game. Apparently, this uncle is how he started getting gigs around town. What did Kiwana do before he became a handyman? Hmm. Beats me. Uh, maybe some kind of corporate job? I don't think I've ever asked. Where can we find Kuana's uncle's bar? Oh, the bar's called Siren. It's over in Chinatown. I've been there two or three times myself. The owner is a real nice guy. Hard to tell he was ever a Yakuza. Then we better get over there too. Can't afford to fall behind RK again. Let's hurry. Thanks for everything. And sorry for bothering. Oh, don't mention it. What is it? Let's hit it. 